whether you want antiques or anchovies, farm produce or framed pictures. Weekends at St George's Market in Belfast bring together the broadest of spectrums, with a bit of music thrown in for good measure. Traders have adapted to post-Brexit regulations. There's no shortage of cured meats or continental cheeses here. What there is a shortage of is political consensus, and the voters' patience is wearing thin. Uh, we need a, a first minister for all. The Never Neverland stuff has to go away, and I think we just keep moving forward. We've had 25 years since the Good Friday Agreement, and everybody's sick of the nonsense of it storming. We just want a government that governs. The stalemate is about the Northern Ireland Protocol, which governs the movement of produce and goods from mainland UK to Northern Ireland after Brexit. The unionist DUP party wants the protocol scrapped because it says it undermines Northern Ireland's links to the rest of the UK. The party is effectively blocking the entire devolved government until it gets its way. People here in Northern Ireland are often very reluctant to talk about politics. It's a deeply sensitive subject. But the overall sentiment here appears to be one of sheer disillusionment with the politicians in general. Civic organisations and charities are increasingly having to fill the gaps. Cross-community fundraising by the Breeder Sports Club supports hundreds of people who are struggling with domestic energy bills. OK, girls, that's it. Get in and get a water break. I even visited a lady during the week with four children who um, was down to her last £10. And she was making decisions based on whether or not to put three pounds on a gas or electric card, whether to use the money for a bus fare to send her children to school, or whether just to buy food. Chris O'Reilly is also involved in the project. He says the numbers needing support are rising dramatically this year, and the lack of a functioning government is affecting business too. Some of the levers that they've been able to pull in the past has been, been a discounted rates policy or, 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 or rates holiday, which is, which is what we're asking for at the moment. But we can't ask anybody because there's nobody in, in, in situ to be able to do that. Next week, the British minister responsible for Northern Ireland will meet party leaders in Belfast for last-ditch talks. An election looks inevitable, but there's no guarantee that carving up the vote yet again will produce a clean outcome. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Belfast.